Leo. Welcome to your monthly reading for June. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this month. We're going to pull out three cards for career and finances, three cards for general overall three themes, and three cards for uh, love and romance. And we're going to dive into love and romance a little deeper um, later on, okay? One thing I want to tell you um, is June, okay, um, especially with some of the transits that are happening in the cosmos, could potentially, especially if you're a Leo rising, could potentially offer you a lot of opportunities, doors opening up, okay? One thing that you have to remember is to be able to relish, rejoice in, and celebrate with uh, these blessings is you have to be in a state of self-love, a state of uh, self-acceptance and um, being open to receiving, right? Being open to receiving the blessings from the universe. Okay, this retrograde card showing up here right beside your career and your finances, Eight of Swords, Two of Swords, Knight of Swords, okay? Um, I'm seeing a revisiting of a uh, potential business opportunity, career, financial opportunity, uh, deal, a contract, something like that, that's going to be revisited um, to help you move forward from a place of stuckness. So how could this manifest in your career and your finances? This could be you having had an opportunity to start a new job somewhere or work for somebody new, or there was a contract that previously had fallen through, or you had asked for a raise back in the day and then you didn't get it. Like, you know, something like that. And, and here I'm, I'm showing that Sorry, I hear I'm showing that um, what's potentially happening is an opportunity now to review it again. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords is a lot of blocked energy. But then when the King of Swords comes in, the King of Swords trumps those cards. And so the Two of Swords and the and the Eight of Swords end up uh, kind of being washed out, right? So you may start off the month feeling very trapped, feeling very stuck, feeling like you, there's inaction in your career and your finances. But the fact that this retrograde card is showing up, it's, an op it's a revisiting opportunity. And then the King of Swords ends the career and finances reading. To me, it's like whatever you're feeling stuck around in your career and your finances, trump and clarity as you move out of June, okay? Then we have this card set that says lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. With this card showing up here and the fact that it says questioning everything, everything unaligned must go. What I am seeing here is that you are recognizing and realizing a lot of the people, places, things, habits, etc., that are needing to be purged from your life. With this page of wands and this emperor, I think sometimes, and you know, I get it, you're a fellow fire sign. Sometimes you are quick to the trigger. And I think what you are realizing this month, Leo, is that sometimes it's best to be in the state of the emperor. So the emperor reflects, the emperor reviews, the emperor analyzes, um, the emperor has routine and structure and it's very stoic in nature, right? Like you will only see emotion, like look how unemotional he is, right? You will only, you will only see the emotion of the emperor one, when you get into his good graces, um, and you know, he trusts you and you're behind closed doors and you get to kind of see the unfiltered, uh, version of him. But also you will see the emperor's emotions when he's reached a particular limit or when it's go time. The colors of the emperor card in the major arcana are very fiery, very passionate, can even indicate like passion, love, but also rage and anger. It's Aries, it's Martian energy, right? And if you want to learn more about tarot, you can take my tarot certification in the description box below, okay? Um, with, with it showing up beside the Page of Pentacles, um, a very um, naive, a very juvenile, a um, very childlike energy in the sense of innocence and um, lack of experience, but yet desiring the passion, the fire, the creativity, etc. These two energies are polar opposite. So there's a realization here the, the, really the only thing here that threads them together is the fiery energy, right? So there's a realization here, Leo, for you that like sometimes you may behave this way when truly you need to be behaving this way. And there's power in that. There's power in this maturity. This, there's power in this leveling up because I think ultimately where it's going to lead you is towards more financial stability, more financial security. While the Four of Pentacles can talk about holding on to something so tight and not being able to let it go and therefore isolating yourself from people, opportunities, etc., the Four of Pentacles also discusses saving your money. It also talks about putting money away. It also talks about um, being able to secure your funds to create stability and security in your life, right? So there's these two um, sides of um, this powerful, uh, fiery energy 
creative energy also, one that can conjure and attract a lot of financial stability with ease and the other that potentially maybe spends without actually thinking about the spending, right? Then with humor, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. One thing I'm seeing here, especially when it comes to your love and relationships, regardless of whether or not you are in a romantic relationship, a long-term situation, a uh, you know, marriage or a, a dating or whatever, like the thing is, is you're choosing to focus on happiness. You're choosing to focus on joy. You're choosing to focus on play. You're choosing to focus on the um, excitement, the thrill of the chase, you know, the flirting stage, that kind of stuff. We have Aphrodite as your amulet for this month. Aphrodite is an amulet all about self-love, self-worth. It is connected to the goddess Aphrodite. This amulet is all about you being able to call in your deepest romantic desires. However, you do it from a place of self-love, okay? It's values, it's luxury, it's sensuality, it's all those things from a place of self-love. Now, in your love and romance, we have the King of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups indicate to me that there are going to be romantic opportunities or romantic encounters that will be presented to you this month. However, both the Knight and the Page are, um, they lack maturity. They have the passion. They have the excitement. They have the thrill of the chase. They have the flirty energy. They don't have the solidity. The solidity, that's a word, right? Yeah. The solidifying energy and the maturity and, and the um, experience of the king or queen of cups and beside the nine of pentacles here to me this is somebody potentially making their way to you but this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to say yes to them or this doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be um, a romantic situation where you two are going to um, you know live happily ever after this means an opportunity for play an opportunity for flirting yeah three of swords and healing family issues indicates to me that this month you're really recognizing and realizing playfulness knight of wands um that you're childhood or romantic experiences or your parents um relationship whatever it was right has played a big role in the type of people that you attract and you are learning at this time that you have to undo some learning and reprogram some energy in order to attract healthier romantic relationships in your life Hard to heart conversations in the moon. Yeah. So to me, I would say that this is a month in romance where you keep it light, where you keep it fresh, where you play, where you have fun. I would not be settling down with anybody. I would not be uh, jumping the gun with anybody. I would not be like, yes, this is my person. I'm going to move in with them. If you haven't known them, I wouldn't be um, having romantic interactions quickly. I would more be uh, in this space of receiving and playing and having fun and not attaching to things. Heart to heart, heart conversations and the moon indicates that to me that in conversation with this individual or these individuals, because for some of you, I honestly see a lot of people um, you know, coming to you. Okay. What I'm seeing here is that there exists this opportunity to pull away from the illusion and the delusion and the fears and see things for what they are. And then from there, make a grounded, practical decision on who works, who doesn't. Right. So if you have like multiple suitors, you may turn around and be like, they're not all like, none of them are long term for me. They're all play or this one's long term and this one isn't. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. And if you want to book a session with me or work with me in any capacity to get any of my courses, it's all in the description box below. I do invite you to follow me over on Instagram and sign up to my mailing list. It is free and I do give you guys tons of free advice, guidance, etc. over there. All right. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.